enormous reveals for the leagues of Botan today. A big launch box is dropping within the month. We've got some cool and incredibly punchy characters, a bunch of heretical artificial intelligences, and a big hulking land fortress revealed in full. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today I thought we'd do a roundup of Games Workshop's recent preview from the Nova Open. It seems that the full range of the Leagues of Botan is revealed. After you've seen the contents of this preview, apparently this is literally everything that's coming in the first wave of the Leagues of Botan, and all the units that are going to be coming in their codex, which is coming quite soon. Here's a great big army-wide shot of them battling some Black Legion. Certainly cool to see what an army of them looks like en masse. I think when you see the individual squad previews, they're all interesting but perhaps it's not the easiest to imagine exactly what they're going to look like ranked up. They've shown off a crazy amount of new kits today. First and foremost amongst them, perhaps the Leagues of Votan army set, the first way that you're going to be able to get the codex and the models in that. Contained within are a massive Exo Armor champion model, a unique special character, and the faction's new codex. And moving outside the box, there's a big grenade launcher set up for the Chthonian Berserkers, the Brockier Iron Master, Votan Technomancer, and his heretical AIs the faction's Psyker Priest leader type figure in the Grimnir, and of course the big bad and dangerous looking Hecaton Land Fortress, an enormous chunky battle tank that seems to be the equivalent of the Land Raider for the Leagues of Votan. Loads of awesome stuff, so let's jump straight into it. First up, we've got the Leagues of Votan army set. This is going to be coming out in September, so that means it's going to be up for pre-order sometime within the next four weeks. Really quite good news for people who want to get their hands on the Codex as soon as possible. It sounds like this will be the first way to get your hands on the Codex before it goes on general sale. As well as the book, it comes with the car, basically the faction's generic leader, and it can also be built as Ulthar the Destined, who is a unique special character for the Votan, which we'll talk about in just a second. We've also got the Iron Hair Champion, an exo-armoured elite sent to lay down the brightest and the best of the enemy, two sets of Hearthkin warriors, so a decent amount of the core troops for the faction, and then one unit of three Hernkin pioneers, the fast attack outrider jet bikes. It sounds like it's going to be a release that's very similar to the previous launch boxes we've seen. We had recent ones for Black Templars and Orcs and Chaos Knights, probably in the same sort of price range, I'd guess, somewhere around the £120 mark or around the $190. Could always be a little bit more than that. Games Workshop do typically keep their prices rising, and that's unlikely to change with all the inflation about. Overall, seems like a solid starter set. I guess I wouldn't have minded changing out one of the characters for perhaps a squad of something like those Exo Armor ones, the regular Iron Hair Half Guard, but I suppose if they did that, they'd probably just charge a bit more for it. I will be giving away a few of these box sets on the channel as well, so stick around to the end of the video if you want to hear how to be entered into that. We've already seen a fair bit of the Hearthkin Warriors and the Hernkin Pioneers. But one of the models that was shown off this time round was this Iron Hair Champion, basically one of those exo armoured Iron Hair Hearthguard, but with a few different options. As a champion, he's going to be the equivalent of things like Space Marine Champions, or perhaps the Chaos Marine Master of Executions. Apparently, he's got a whole bunch of mass drivers on his back, allowing him to jump forward really powerfully against the enemy, and then gets to work with a mass hammer or some sort of plasma axe, both of which are supposedly some of the most powerful weapons that the Botan can produce. Sort of gives me a bit of a Thor image, jumping forward really powerfully and smashing the enemy to bits with a massive hammer. In his offhand, he's got what is apparently an Autoc pattern combi bolter. I guess they do have standard Autoc bolt guns, so I suppose this is almost their storm bolter equivalent of the same thing. In game, I'd guess he's probably going to have few or no buffs to the nearby Votan, though sometimes just a bit of raw melee might might be all you want. Model wise, I think he looks quite good, a fair bit more dynamic than the other Iron Hair Half Guard that we've seen and he's got a couple of head swaps as well, if you do want to trade out something different. Otherwise, in the same box, they've also shown off Uthal the Destined, an alternate build for the car model that we've already seen previewed. The car is pretty much the standard Leagues of Botan Commander, and Uthal the Destined is a special character hailing from the Greater Thurian League. Apparently, he's the only special character in the Codex, and appearance-wise, I must say, he's not desperately different to the standard car. I believe that that's the same sword and the same Volkite weapon. The only differences with him are his head and his back banner. Otherwise, with the standard car kit, you have the option of a plasma axe and a mass gauntlet, plus that Autoc pattern bolter instead of the Vulcanite disintegrator. Still, though, fun that the faction is launching with at least one unique character. Some of the newer 40k factions didn't have any or still don't have any, even quite a while after they've launched. 
Here's just a ranked up picture of the leagues of Votan army set in general. Looks like a pretty solid core of the force to get started. I think that including a couple of boxes of the Hearthkin Warriors is a pretty reasonable idea, particularly as no one's going to have had this faction before. Moving on though, there's an absolute ton of other good stuff. They've shown off an interesting upgrade that looks like it's a special weapon option within the Chthonian Berserkers. This one apparently is a Chthonian Berserk with a mole grenade launcher. Mole grenades are something in 40k's lore that basically tunnel under the ground and then blow up in the enemy's midst. The Death Corps of Krieg have been known to use them, so it's kind of interesting to see one crop up here. My guess is that as they've shown a picture of it pictured alongside the other Chthonian Berserks, it might well come in the exact same kit as them, perhaps a unit upgrade that you can take or leave. The model looks quite fun, it's on an absolutely massive base alongside an iron kin bearing a crazily large axe, though I must admit inside the rest of the Berserk type squad it does look a little bit out of place maybe. All the rest of them seem like they'd want to hurtle towards the enemy as fast as possible, hitting them with big axes and blades. So putting a random ranged upgrade in the middle of the squad on a massive base does seem a bit odd. I guess it's not impossible, it could represent a different unit in game, and they might sell it separately. I guess we'll have to wait down the line for further details. Moving on, we've got the Brockier Iron Master, a model that we knew was coming, and it's basically the Votan Tech Marine. He's armed with a Graviton pistol and hammer, apparently, and he can pile extra wounds onto your vehicles by repairing them. And if he's similar to the other mechanics in 40k, he might well be able to make tanks hit just that little bit better. We'd already seen his little Iron Kin Forge Assistant that works alongside him. That one was previewed in a previous one, but we've not seen these great big cog robots that he has. These guys are more simplistic machine intelligences, not the equivalent of a standard kin like an iron kin is, maybe a little bit more akin to the Imperium Castellum robots, very basic functions that are programmed, as opposed to displaying all that much autonomy of their own. It looks like they're hovering robots, and the bits that attach them to their bases are just bits of scrap for decorative purposes, so I guess they'd swore about this guy, protecting him from harm, and also lending a hand with repairs and in combat. Quite fun miniatures, an interesting space dwarf mirror to the Tech Marine and Servitor setup. Next up, we've got the faction Psyker in the Grimnir. Apparently, as all the Votan are cloned, this guy's basically a designed Psyker, so they appear to have mastered the art of making a Psyker within the general population and not just leaving it down to random chance and mutation. Those League of Votan data cards that leaked show that he has a scheme wrought discipline for various different buffs, debuffs and mortal wounds, and he does seem to be really quite a powerful character to lead the army. I'm sure he'll be an HQ choice, and he's got a few other command abilities as well. In the lore, he essentially functions as a priest for the faction, somewhat of a holy leader within their augmented society, and he takes to battle alongside these Raven-style Corv robots. Corv, I guess, trying to sound like Corvid, like Ravens or Crows and both of those seem to sport a little Autoc Volta type thing, the same weapon as the standard Kin can bear, I believe. There's an alternate head as well, if you don't like the hooded look. I think that the hood and the great big bushy beard look pretty good to me, though. Interesting that, again, he's taking tactical rocks to new extremes, he seems to be floating on them, and they're hovering a bit off the ground. Lastly, and the biggest model that we've seen so far, is this Hecaton Land Fortress. This appears to be the reimagination of the Land Train, something that quite a lot of people were hoping that would come with the Leagues of Votan. It is a pretty enormous and slightly ungainly looking vehicle, very thick looking armour plate there, though I do admit that the wheels look a little bit exposed and maybe a bit easy to damage. I'm not sure if the wheels are maybe the best design look for it, maybe some meaty looking tracks might have been a bit more fun. This thing looks like it's going to be the massive transport and battle tank of the Votan, really heavy firepower and able to transport quite a lot of them, 12 Votan can fit in its hold. So in class it looks like it's going to be similar to something like a Space Marine Land Raider, or maybe a Primaris Repulsor or Repulsor Executioner. Hopefully they've managed to find a way to make it somewhat good in game. A lot of the things that try and be a main battle tank and also a transport often seem to get let down in their rules. Apparently it's going to have at least two main gun options that you can see sat on the top. This really is going to be a massive main battle tank style weapon. Apparently you can choose either a Magna Rail Gun or an SP Conversion Beamer both of which I'm sure are going to be terrifically powerful in one way or another. Apparently the Magna Railgun is very similar to the Tau Hammerhead one, can shoot through imbols, and has the potential to skewer multiple models in one shot, perhaps a similar mortal wound mechanic to what the Hammerhead has now. Otherwise though, it does look fairly positively covered in guns. I think that's going to be a couple of iron turrets on the front, a couple of bolter turrets set slightly further back, and I think that's a high-last rotary cannon on the back, 
the same thing that was mounted on the big Hernkin Pioneer Dual Rider model. It does look kind of similar to that smaller Sagittor transport that they already showed off, basically the equivalent of a Space Marine Razorback. It's got quite a lot of similar design aesthetics, really great big roll bar type things going all over it, and a couple of Perspex cockpits. I'll be interested to hear your guys' take on this. Is this thing land train enough for you? I think for me the majority of it looks quite good, and maybe just a little bit less convinced about those wheels and how far it is set off the ground. I suppose from a practical point of view, that would at least allow it to traverse quite a lot of terrain though. We do have a few more pictures of it as well, a couple of closer looks at the turrets, and it looks like there's an option to get some sort of missile launcher goodness in there as well. I believe the thing on the top right is the Magna Railgun, I'm sure that'll be something for vehicles to fear, and I quite like the inbuilt pilot cockpits as well, there's an iron kin serving alongside a regular Votan in the driver's seat. Lastly, they've also announced the Codex of the Leagues of Botan, 104 pages worth of book. The lore section should be particularly interesting as it's a whole new faction, and this one's the limited edition cover for the set, the one that's going to be coming in the new launch box. Looks like we've got a Carl there leading his forces into battle. I can see a few things, including I think a Chthonian Berserk, an Exo Armoured Guy, and a Hearthkin Warrior with a Ion Gun. We did get a whole bunch of rules previews for the army today. Feel free to check out my previous video for the roundup of all the goodness that they showed off in the battle report. We got some juicy details on judgment tokens and also wound mechanic when certain units offend the Votan and they get judged. Void armor is like armor of contempt, but it also prevents reroll wounds and reroll damage. We've seen that skin wrought discipline leaks from the psychic powers, and then of course there's going to be all the new data sheets, the various different leagues, and lots of miniature galleries. Looks like it'll be a really fun book to take a look over. I'll most certainly review the thing once it comes out. So an absolutely crazy ton of good stuff for the Leagues of Votan, but I thought seeing as we were on the subject, I will be doing the Leagues of Votan army set as a giveaway for October. It kind of makes sense seeing as it's coming out in September, and I'm sure it's going to be a box that a fair few people want. I do run these channel giveaways once a month. There'll be three of these sets on offer, one to three different people, and as we mentioned, it's got a Carl and Iron Hair champion, two sets of Hearthkin warriors, one set of three Hernkin pioneers, the new codex and the data cards. As always with these channel giveaways, there's two different ways to enter. Either support the channel on Patreon for any amount. It is also one of the things that keeps these videos coming quite so regularly. Or you can support on social media for free entry, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, and then to be entered in the draw, you enter on the first of the month. A post appears on the Facebook page and you post a picture of some 40k models with the name and the day's date written within the photo. The last bit's just an attempt to make sure it goes to a real person and not a Facebook bot or spammer. Then I put all the entries equally together and do the draw with a random number generator, and the result is announced on a channel update, usually around the 4th of the month, so the 4th of October in this case. There'll be further giveaways every month, so feel free to check out the Patreon page or the Facebook page, both are linked down in the video description below. In any case, all giveaways aside and everything, this really has been a fairly monumental set of reveals for the Leagues of Votan. I was wondering whether or not they'd reveal just a very, very big model in the Land Fortress or the new launch box, but it seems that they have done both and much more besides. I'll be interested in your guys' opinion of the models and the contents of the launch box. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. What is your opinion of the Leagues of Votan now we've seen the full range of models and we aren't just seeing bits and bobs? In any case, if you've enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to All Specs Tactics. I will keep up with the rules of the leagues and any other Games Workshops releases here on the channel. I'm sure we'll be getting plenty more rules previews as the Codex release approaches. Finally, as it's the thing that keeps the videos coming, I will just mention the Patreon page briefly once more. As well as being entered in giveaways to get the Votan army set, there's plenty of other benefits. You get to see certain videos on the channel before anyone else. Vote in polls to see what sort of videos come next and other perks like your name in the credits, or unique Discord roles. Feel free to check out the link down in the video description if you're interested, or if you do want to be in with a chance for the Votan set prize draw. In any case, an enormous thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.